It's just so sad. People have to go through this. An alleged rape victim is sharing her terrifying story. The North Carolina A&T student and cheerleader wants her coaches fired. She says they did nothing after she told them she was sexually assaulted by another student. WFMY News 2's Jessica Winter sat down with her. It's an exclusive you'll see only on 2. Today, the A&T Athletics Department tells me the entire Blue Squad cheerleading team has been benched for two games while the university investigates the sexual assault allegation and how the coaches handled the situation. Raina G tells me she won't cheer again unless the coaches are gone. It was a rape because I don't like using sexual assault because it kind of like dresses it up. North Carolina A&T freshman Raina G says she's fighting two battles right now, one against her accused rapist. I just like looked up on Google like what do I do? I just been raped. The other against her cheer program. The urgency wasn't there emotionally. I wasn't supported. Raina says she confided in her coaching staff. But she says they did not report the alleged crime, which is part of their university protocol. Within 24 hours to report to Title IX when you have this information. So she filed a police report herself. It's been three months since the alleged rape. Your cheerleader just got raped. You don't need to be like, oh, like, you know, it's college, it's normal. She took matters into her own hands. She wrote this open letter calling for the firing of her Blue Squad coaching staff. Until a and cheerleading coaches are fired, I will not cheer under this program. Saying Aggie staff members were blatantly negligent. It shouldn't be this hard for people to just like get help because it's just so sad. The university sent out a statement that reads in part, we are deeply saddened to hear of any allegation of sexual assault and take such allegations very seriously. The university will continue to pursue investigations regarding any claim and provide care and assistance to any victim. It's hard. The athletics department says the entire squad will not be performing during basketball games on Saturday and Monday while the investigation continues.